and welcome to the Santi Cooper Powerhouse Tour. As an electron, I'm a very small, negatively charged particle. But as your guide today, I'm about as big and positive as you can get. So what do you say we learn a little bit about this generating station and how we make electricity? Winya is a coal-fired generating station that uses state-of-the-art equipment to minimize pollution. Winya began operating in 1975 with one unit. Today, it has four generating units that together can produce more than 1,155 megawatts in one hour. That's enough electricity to light up all the households in both Charleston and Columbia combined. You can see that each generating unit has a large stack to release gas from. And check out how tall they are. Each one measures 405 feet. That's taller than a football field is long. <laughs> so, exactly how do we make electric power? We generate it through a network of generating facilities that turn natural resources into usable energy. Let's start at the place where mechanical energy is turned into electrical energy inside an electric generator. The generator houses powerful magnets and coils of copper wire. When a powerful magnetic field turns inside of a coil of wire, electrons move through the wires, creating an electric current or electricity. <laughs> Simple, right? Well, not exactly. Just to get started making electricity, you need a whole lot of equipment and energy in the form of fuel. For example, coal and oil can be burned to create steam that turns a turbine. The turbine could also be turned by a renewable resource, such as water for hydropower or even wind for wind power. At Winya Generating Station, the fuel is coal, a natural resource. At Winya, Santi Cooper uses superheated steam under pressure to drive the turbines, which in turn drive the generator, making electricity. But how do you get this superheated steam? Coal is burned inside the furnace to heat purified water, which is flowing through these pipes. The heated water inside the pipes, known as the boiler, is then converted to steam. The higher the quality of coal, the more efficiently it burns, which means the more electricity we can produce. Brought in by train, bituminous Kentucky coal, yes, it's called bituminous coal, is stockpiled at the station on a gigantic coal pile, waiting to be conveyed into the pulverizers, where it is ground into a fine black powder. This coal powder is the fuel that is blown into the furnace, where it burns at 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Woo-hoo-wee! Now that's what I call hot! Whew. From the boiler, superheated steam races through the pipes at 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, where it's forced under very high pressure through the blades of the turbine, turning the blades at 3,600 times every minute. The turbine then turns the magnet inside the coils in the generator, which produces electricity. All four Winya generating station units can make 1,155 megawatts at full load. Woo! That's enough electricity electricity for over 530,000 homes. Station operators keep a close eye from this control room, monitoring and controlling the entire process. They can make changes with these computers and control systems as needed to keep the process running as efficiently as possible. From the generator, electricity must now reach homes and businesses. And it begins its journey through this switchyard, where transformers boost it about 10 times, from around 25,000 volts to around 250,000 volts. I don't know about you, but that's a lot of volts if you ask me. The switchyard is like a highway on-ramp, where electricity starts its travels. Transmission lines leaving the switchyard are the interstate highways of electricity, carrying high voltage power to a substation in your neighborhood. Here, the high voltage electricity is stepped down to a lower voltage that can be used safely in your schools and homes. Santee Cooper is totally committed to keeping our lakes, rivers, and air clean as electricity is made. For example, when burning coal to heat the steam, exhaust gases are produced and travel out of the stack and into the air. In order to help keep our air clean, these stack gases are carefully monitored and recorded. When the exhaust gas moves from the furnace through the control equipment and out of the system, it is clean. 
pollutants in the stack gases are moved from the boiler through our cleaning system, where 90% of sulfur dioxide and nitrous oxide contaminants are removed from the exhaust gas. <sighs> Isn't that incredible? Visible smoke is almost completely removed from the air with precipitators that use high voltage electricity to remove dust and ash from the stack gas. Ash that was removed during these cleaning processes is then recycled as a solid ingredient of cement to be used to build things like the Cooper River Bridge. The result is that harmless water vapor can be seen leaving the stacks instead of pollution. The stack gases are not the only thing we monitor at the generating station. Water from our lakes and rivers that's used to make and condense steam is reclaimed through a closed system of condensers and a cooling tower. Water is used again and again in order to conserve this resource. But before it is sent back to a lake or river, it is closely tested to ensure that it's clean and fresh. The entire cleaning process is constantly monitored on site and reported to the state and federal government to ensure that the emissions meet all federal environmental protection agency standards. As environmental stewards, Santee Cooper is also the first utility in South Carolina to build a green power generating station at a landfill. You know, a garbage dump! Oh, P.U. Green power is environmentally friendly electricity that uses renewable resources for fuel. As landfill garbage decays, a renewable fuel called methane gas is produced. That's why methane is called a greenhouse gas. Santee Cooper captures methane from landfills and burns it as fuel to produce electricity. If the methane was not burned as fuel, it would enter the atmosphere as pollution. Which is why this program has a very beneficial impact on the environment. For instance, buying 200 kilowatt hours of green power per month for just one year has the same impact as recycling 320 pounds of aluminum cans. That's 10,215 cans. So that's how we make electricity here at Santee Cooper. And now you know how we turn the lights on. Have fun and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.